Hi, this is Jake with Optimus Forex, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to globally enable DLL imports on both MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5. Now, before I do proceed to the video, I would like to mention that if you're in the market for a new Forex trading platform or would just like to try out MetaTrader 5 for the first time, feel free to use the link at the very beginning and at the end of the video. I'll also be providing the same link down in the description below, which can be clicked to bring you directly to the demo signup page for MetaTrader 4 and 5. Now on to the video. As I said, this video will be about globally enabling DLL imports on both MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5. Now this feature may not be for everybody, but for those users that are looking to upload a custom indicator or any expert advisors or scripts that they found online or may have had a third party developer create them for you, you may need to enable this setting for it to work. Now DLL stands for Dynamic Link Library and it is essentially a coding library of different languages inputted together, utilized by Windows, which essentially allows this script or this coding language to be utilized by multiple programs at once. Now, I won't get into too much more of DLL other than that, but I'll mainly be sticking to the technical features of how to enable it on this platform. But as I said, this is extremely useful, useful for those users that are looking to download or upload their own custom script or indicators that have been found online. As you can see, we currently have our own indicator applied to our chart here. And although it is a bit blocked by our indicator, you can see that DLL import is not enabled. Please allow DLL import in the settings. Now at first glance, if you go into your indicator list, which can once again be accessed by right clicking with anywhere within your chart and then clicking on indicator list. If we click on properties and head over to dependencies here on the left, as you can see, I've already allowed DLL imports. Now you may be wondering why am I still getting this error message? Maybe I need to do so for our other indicator here. Enabling it here, as you can see, it does not work either. So you may be asking, how do I get DLL imports to work? And how do I get my indicator up and running? Well, I would suggest before even uploading your indicator, you'll need to globally enable DLL imports. So this can be done under tools, options. We'll need to click on the experts advisor tab. I was already on this tab, but you should start off on server by default and then just left click expert advisors here. And as you can see, we have a allow DLL imports potentially dangerous enabled for trusted applications only. So in short, this should be, as the platform says, a trusted application because it is tied directly in with Windows, DLL it is. If it is an unsafe program or file, it can potentially access other files on your computer unlike the MetaQuotes coding language, which is provided by default on MetaTrader 5. So just keep that in mind. If you are using a custom indicator or script that you have found online, just make sure it's from a trusted source. Now, once you have this checked off, you can click OK. And as you'll see, our chart still does not load up. And that's OK. We'll just need to restart the platform. So to do this, I'll just click on the close button in the top right, and I'll see you in just one second. All right, so we're back, and my template has already been applied to my chart automatically for me, and my indicators have already uploaded. As you can see, I no longer get the error message for the allow DLL imports, and as you can see, it is still globally enabled within my settings here. If I go into my indicator list, each individual option should be enabled as well. So there you have it. That is how you enable DLL imports on MetaTrader 5 and MetaTrader 4 when using custom indicators or experts and scripts. Again, if you're interested in trying out MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5, I'll be providing a link at the very beginning and the very end of the video. This link can also directly be accessed down in the description below. If you click on this link, it will directly bring you to a demo signup page for both platforms.
So if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And thank you for watching.